So LG Mobile is closed. And as you know, I'm a huge LG fan. I've been making a lot of videos about LG devices, rocking them from pillar to post, right? Rocking them till the wheels fall off. I have a bunch of LG devices. The strangest thing that I ever seen is a company that was very slow at releasing updates when the, you know, why they was releasing phones. LG was very slow. I mean, one of the, the, the Achilles heels for updates, right? But now after they've been closed for over a year, their mobile department is working like hell, releasing update after update after update for the LG devices. So today I received Android 12 on my Verizon wireless LG wing. That's right, Android 12 on my wing. Now this is the T-Mobile variant of the LG wing and I'm still on Android 11, but let's talk about Android 12 on the LG wing. Sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I'm excited for this one, right? I just updated my LG wing like 10 minutes ago before I clicked the record button on my cameras, right? But so far, even though I updated to Android 12, I'm not seeing any visual changes as we saw with, you know, the LG V60. So far, I'm seeing this performance enhancements, a lot of stuff underneath the hood. It's very snappy. As you know, LG opt out of material you design as you've seen on stock Android devices like Pixels and other devices like that. LG is staying with their uh, UX design of the operating system. So here I got two LG wings, Verizon Wireless, T-Mobile. Now my T-Mobile variant have not received Android 12 yet, but my Verizon Wireless just got it. So right now uh, I got Android 12 here on my Verizon wireless one and I still have Wideband L1, so that's a good thing. You know, I make these videos to keep you guys informed. None of my devices is rooted and booted. They all got locked bootloaders and stuff like that, so I have to wait for OTA updates just like everybody else. But as I talk about this, let me talk about some of the comments that I get on some of my update videos. It's two kinds of comments that I always be getting. Here's one of the comments. You are late at getting updates. Why are you so slow? This is a comment I get all the time. Well, let me answer that question. First, I don't work for LG and I don't work for the carriers. I have to wait for OTA updates just like everybody else. I can't force Verizon. I can't force AT&T. I can't force uh, T-Mobile to give me an update. I have to wait my turn just like everybody else. The second question that I always get is that, when would I receive the update, right? When would you receive the update? Listen, once again, I don't know. I have no idea when people receive updates. Listen, I wait just like everybody else. Uh, so just keep that in mind. For everybody out there that leave me comments, first the hate comment, why am I so late getting updates? Listen, I don't work for AT&T, Verizon, or none of these companies, so I can't force them to give me an update, right? I buy all these devices, right? And I have to wait for OTA update just like everybody else. You were the chosen one. It was said that you would destroy this and not join them. So let's talk about something that's very serious that a lot of people do leave comments about. If you have an AT&T branded device with no AT&T active service, you will not get these updates, none whatsoever. Even if you have a carrier unlock AT&T device and you have it active on another carrier, unfortunately, the folks at AT&T will still not give you no software updates. But if you have an LG Wing, go into your settings, Check your system's update and see if you got Android 12. If you got Android 12, update your device and enjoy Android 12. It also is bringing July security patch as of me recording this video. So your device should be good to go. And you know what? LG is keeping their promises 
after they close their mobile department that they will update their devices to Android 13 and they will give you a lot of updates. And right now, LG updates has been plentiful. So Android 12 is here, baby, for the LG Wing. Check it out. Go ahead on and get that LG Wing update. Woo, yes indeed. Yeah, LG Wing, baby. Listen, if you want to see me go in depth uh, about Android 12 on my LG V60 and talk about it, click the video right here and I'm going to be in the comments. If you want to see the LG V60 with Android 12 and I'm talking about some of the features that's involved with Android 12, click this video right here. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Woo, Android 12, baby. Peace.